Hey guys, so Jack Drips here today and I've got a um, e-liquid review for you guys today from the lovely people at vapemonkey.co.uk I've got four e-liquids for you a couple from their Cloud Chaser range and a couple from their Gourmet range and um, yeah, let's just get straight into it guys Right, I've got four liquids to review for you guys today, and um, a couple are from the Cloud Chaser range, if I just look at that. And this range is cool idea, guys. I mean, it's all high VG and, um, you know, some cool flavours and names. And, yeah, I've got, the first one I've got for you is Mr. Blue Sky from the Cloud Chaser range and Tropical Thunder from their Cloud Chaser range and then if we go over to their Gourmet range I've got 3XT which is that one there and then I have got their number one most popular liquid on their site which is Spider Venom and I read the description I was like what I'm you know, a bit scared to buy this if I'm honest because the description is just really strange I mean and people what they've been saying about it they can't actually pinpoint what flavor it is so I thought you know not too sure about that one but thinking about it now I really want to try it and see what that's all about so how about we just go straight into it and I'll talk each liquid by liquid, change out the cotton in my dripper for each one so there's no flavour creep and yeah I'll just talk about pricing real quick for a 10ml bottle it is £4 for a 30ml bottle it is £10.50 and for a 50ml bottle it is just £18 so really impressed with the pricing on this one guys for stuff that is this good quality, this complex flavours which I'll go through and just great delivery, service, great people, I mean £4 for 10ml and then £18 for 50ml not much of a step up in pricing and it's just good pricing so I'm happy with that and um, yeah I'm going to go through each liquid one by one and here we go right so first off I've got Mr Blue Sky which is right up my alley in flavour profile um, it is a blue slushy e-liquid and I've got it in the um, 8020 VG PG so 80 VG high VG for you know it's in their cloud chaser range so it's going to produce produce great vapour guys and it is in 6 milligram nick strength and I've got it on my Tobe Nemesis Sony VTC5 and um, I've got a dual parallel 28 gauge build in here at 0.4 ohms and um, yeah let's just give it a two. Right so so all of these juices are going to be a first impressions never tried before apart from Mr. Blue Sky because I have tried that before because that's the one I ordered and paid for the rest was sent for a review from Barry over there and um, yeah basically this one is up my street because it's a berry fruity berry vape and I love refreshing fruity berry vapes and um, yeah blue slushy right Blue slushy, I'm getting blueberry in this one, definitely. And I'm getting a blue raspberry kind of flavour too. It's given that sweetness and a bit of tartness, but it is very smooth. In 6mg it's not giving me much throat hit at all, really, but that's what I like. I do like a lighter throat hit, I do like to fill up my lungs and just that, fi that feeling is great. 
And also in this one, which I was surprised to find, I get a sort of slight hint of crisp green apple, like sweet crisp green apple. And it's not very strong, but it's definitely there, you know. Every time I vape this, I get a different nuance in it. A very complex berry flavour, this one. And um, it's just really refreshing, guys. And, yeah, it's probably um, one of my more favourite berry vapes. It is very, very nice indeed. Great vapour from this one, guys, as you can see, because it's a... 80% VG mix and 20% PG and yeah not really sure what else I can tell you it's blueberry, blue raspberry sweetness coming through and a bit of crisp cool green apple on the end and it's just very very refreshing and um, yeah lighter throat here on this one guys. Right okay guys the next one I've got loaded up in here is Tropical Thunder which is from their Cloud Chaser line again it is 80% VG, 20% PG, 6mg Nick strength, and this one is a chilled out, creamy vanilla and coconut flavour for your cloud chasing delight. So, basically this is creamy vanilla and coconut, and um, me, personally, I've actually gone off vanillas quite a lot now. <laughs> I've tried so many and I thought that's what I wanted. I thought I wanted a creamy vanilla flavour, um, a smooth creamy vanilla flavour, but I just don't, okay guys? I'm into fruity, tart, refreshing, you know, like sweet fruity vapes now. But this one does smell really good. It smells very coconutty. Um, creamy vanilla and it does have a bit of a chocolate smell too so quite interested to try this one this is the tropical thunder These are all first impressions as well guys from now on and um, yeah this is pretty much what I thought it would be like it's like a creamy vanilla custard with coconut and um, it tastes exactly how it smells there is that slight bit of chocolatey sweetness sort of smooth essence coming through and um, the throat hit on this one is stronger than Mr Blue Sky and um, I like it actually. I do like a, I do like some throat hit. The Mr. Blue Sky sort of has none at all. And um, yeah, I like the throat on this one. It's a bit of a kick at the back of the throat. It's quite sharp, um, but also smooth. You know, this is quite a smooth feeling, tasting sort of <clears throat> flavour. And the vapor you're getting from this one, very good again because it is. 80% VG and 20% PG and um, yeah creamy vanilla if you like that flavour profile if you like dessert flavour profile if you like coconut then this is good if you're not even a fan of coconut I reckon you like this one because it's a creamy smooth coconut it's very nice Yeah, it's pretty much what I thought it would be, you know, guys, very rich, very sweet, um, and for me, personally, I don't think I could vape this longer, much longer than an hour or two, guys. I mean, after a meal in the evening, if you don't want to eat a dessert or something, and you want to finish off your meal nicely, I reckon this is a very good choice. Rich, vanilla custard, and coconut, so... Very tasty, I actually like the throat on this one a lot, but for me personally, who's more of a fruit and sweet tart kind of guy, then this one is not for me for an all-day vape, but very good liquid. I'm actually really impressed with this one.
Cole, right now I feel like I need to um, pay a tribute to Ruby Roo and Matt and Vanessa at Suck My Mod. <laughs> and um, I feel like I should have a song about changing cotton right now because that's what I'm doing and I thought that was just hilarious. So, <laughs> here it goes. I'm gonna change out the cotton. I'm gonna change my cotton now. Right, okay, next guys, I've got the um, Spider Venom, which is their number one top bestseller on their website. Now, all the other e liquids are in 6 milligram. This one is in 12 milligram and it's 60% VG, 40% PG. So, I'm scared that this is going to kick my ass with the, um, the high nicotine content, well, higher than I'm used to. And, um, yeah, I usually vase, vape. Um, six milligram only so 12 I am scared <laughs> okay guys I'm scared it's gonna kick my ass right okay I'm getting a very distinct smell from um, from this I'm getting pure cinnamon smell okay guys so I am excited nervous and scared to try this but here is spider venom from their uh, I think it's from their gourmet range. Let's have a look here. Spider Venom. Spider Venom from their gourmet range. And um, let's go. Oh, Christ alive. I'm sorry guys, I can't. <clears throat> I can't uh, actually vape that one really at all. Oh Christ, the menthol is too strong. In a 0.4 ohm build on a dripper, <clears throat> it is too strong, it's kicking my ass guys. Let's give it one more go. No, I can't. Sorry, guys. The menthol is kicking my butt. You should not vape menthol juices in a dripper if the menthol is that strong. 0.4 ohm dual 28 gauge parallel menthol is just not good. But I see what they're trying to do here. It's basically sweet, hot, and cold, okay? Sweet and hot from the cinnamon, and extremely cold <laughs> from the menthol. And uh, it's killing my throat all down here, I just can't do it, okay? But if I put that in a tank system, like my pro tank that I've rebuilt with um, coil heads, which I don't have with me right now, then I can see what they're trying to do, and that's very clever, okay? Putting a sweet, hot, cinnamon pardon me with a menthol just such a contrast and it it really confuses your brain okay guys but in my setup I just can't do it um, it's too strong 12 milligram as well that's probably doing something and you got menthol which gives you a huge throat hit and you've got cinnamon which tends to give you a huge throat hit as well those two together, 12 milligram in my low own build, I just can't. <clears throat> it is way too strong, okay? And um, yeah, it's ripping my throat apart, but I like the idea. And for you tank guys, clearomizer guys, especially clearomizer guys, I reckon you'd really be able to taste and feel this liquid. It would give you a really good flavor and impact from just the clearomizer. So I'm going to leave that one and um, just go straight to the next one because that teared me a new hole <laughs> right okay guys this last one is 3XT and it says totally tropical tasting e-liquid that popular soft drink for you to vape every day 
and to me it smells like pineapple so I'm assuming maybe this is a sort of lilt flavour I'm not entirely sure what popular soft drink they um, are going for but to me it smells like lilt and actually as I'm dripping it now it smells very lemon and limey so I know pretty much for a fact I'm gonna like this one because I love all that kind of fruity lemony limey stuff and I have rinsed out my top cap and deck um, from that last one just to get rid of any menthol or cinnamon right so this is 3XT and um, yeah this one is in 60 VG 40 PG and this one is a 6 milligram yeah bang on this one guys is 7 up just 7 up all the way I mean this tastes awesome this really does taste good great vapor from a 6040 it does taste like 7 up a lot however the throat hit is rather strong on this one guys and it's in 6mg and it's still fairly strong getting that citrusy limey lemony sort of throat hit chest feel and it has um very strong. Well, not very strong, but fairly strong. Maybe a bit stronger than I personally like, but for you guys that like throat hair out there, this one is bang on. And um, the flavour. Yeah, it tastes exactly like 7up. I mean, I do smell pineapple from the bottle, and I do get a bit of pineapple flavour, but it is predominantly lemon and lime. Lemon and lime, you know. 7-Up Sprite, that's pretty much what it tastes like, exactly, so, very nice actually. It's got a bit of that sort of gummy bearish type flavour too, and almost this, this kind of, I don't know how to say it without it sounding wrong, but kind of this chemically flavour. Now it's not chemically flavoured like that, it's just like that gummy flavour, that sort of, you know, the white gummy bears, which are the pineapple ones, the clear gummy bears, that's kind of what flavour it has, and to me they have a bit of a sweet gummy, almost chemically flavour on them, and this is what this is giving me. But all in all it's very nice, sweet, juicy, lemon and lime, good throat hit, even for a 6 milligram, and great flavour as well. I mean a lot of flavour on this. I reckon if you had this in a clearomizer or something then um, you would really be able to taste this liquid guys. So that was 3XT and yeah very interesting to say the least <laughs> review and that spider ma uh, venom just kicks my butt. Okay guys but I mean all in all very good, I do highly recommend these guys over at Vape Monkey. The website is um, vapemonkey.co.uk. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to go and check any of these out. They've got loads of other flavours on there, guys. I mean, these guys are doing it good, okay, really good. I like their labelling and packaging. They have this sort of frosted clear um, sticker on the labels. And, um,. They've got all the appropriate warning labels, and they have childproof caps too, and they did come in a big tamper-proof seal over the whole thing, plastic wrap, which I love too, you know, knowing that it's tamper-proof, awesome. So, impressed with the packaging, impressed with the flavours, once again, if you want to check these out, go to vapemonkey.co.uk, and, um... Yeah, I'm going to be enjoying the rest of these liquids. Don't quite know what I'm going to do with Spider Venom. Maybe put it in a tank of some sort. 
and um, yeah, not much else I can tell you. Just cheers, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and um, remember, grab your vape, and um, don't stop vaping.